There are some disturbing news coming in now. Two Indian Air Force uh, pilots have been killed in, an ac in action when their trainer aircraft actually crashed during routine sortie. And I'm going to go straight to Vishnu, who's joining me on the phone line. Vishnu, details, please. Well, they were killed in an accident, uh, Maria. This is a Pilatus PC-7 Mark II trainer aircraft. There was an accident today morning. Uh, this aircraft had taken off from the Air Force Academy near Hyderabad. Uh, when there was an accident, which took place in a statement, the Indian Air Force says, it is with deep regret that the Indian Air Force confirms that both the pilots on board have sustained fatal injuries. Uh, no damage to any civil life or property has been reported. There is a case, a court of inquiry, which has been called in uh, to look into this. Uh, the Pilatus um, aircraft, PC-7 aircraft, is a basic trainer aircraft of the Indian Air Force. It's a single-engine turboprop aircraft. There are ejection seats on board. This is a basic level of training that pilots undergo at the Air Force Academy before they graduate to advanced jet trainers and then on to fighter aircraft. Not clear at this stage what could have caused this. It could be months uh, before we actually know uh, the cause. But it is very sad uh, that two lives have been lost in this accident. Uh, Vishnu, you are saying that this was uh, some kind of an accident and uh, it, it crashes during routine sortie. How does it actually work in the sense that uh, were precautions not taken? Pure and simple. And we don't know the reason. Sometimes, as I mentioned, a court of inquiry could take months. The courts of inquiry for the Indian Air Force uh, are always kept confidential. That's also true of uh, the other armed forces. So we may never know what caused this particular accident. It's also not correct to speculate on what could have happened, what could not have happened. But I'm just repeating the point that I mentioned. There are ejection seats on board this aircraft. For whatever the circumstances, the two pilots have died. Unclear whether they were able to eject or not at this stage. And these would be one, at least one of the two pilots on board would be a cadet officer learning to fly. Vishnu, stay with us because Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has also tweeted, and I'm quoting him, where he says, anguished by the accident near Hyderabad, it is deeply saddening that two pilots have lost their lives in this tragic hour. My thoughts are with the bereaved families. Uh, Vishnu, have the families been informed? In fact, the Indian Air Force uh, has also put out a detailed tweet uh, on the incidents. Uh, it said that uh, the two pilots uh, on board the aircraft sustained fatal injuries. What was, uh, you know, Vishnu, do we know the names and has it been communicated to their families? Well, the way it usually works, Maria, is that the families are actually informed uh, and then uh, information of this is officially released uh, via the form of a, a public release. So that's what I read out to you and that's what's been replicated in the tweet uh, which you just read, uh, read out. So just in terms of details, that's all that we know so far. The Pilatus PC-7 is a relatively safe aircraft. It's a Swiss manufactured aircraft. It is used for basic training of Indian Air Force pilots, as I mentioned. Uh, the uh, Air Force Academy, from where the aircraft was operating in Hyderabad, in a place called Dindigul, uh, the aircraft was taken off. And there were circumstances we don't know which resulted in this crash. We do not know if the pilots ejected. Fortunately, there's been no damage to property or to lives on the ground. But yes, tragic that two pilots, at least one of whom would most likely have been a trainee pilot, have lost their lives. Okay. Uh, we'll try and, and, and uh, uh, connect with uh, our reporters also in Parliament because uh, will Defence Minister Rajnath Singh be informing? Yes. So... Okay, so that's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh earlier in Parliament. We did see him sitting next to the Prime Minister in the Lok Sabha. Let me go back to Vishnu again because that's uh, certainly a very, very uh, depressing and a worrying news that's coming in this morning, uh, Vishnu. Uh, yes, there has to be a protocol that has to be followed to inform, uh, you know, for informing the family. Uh, but uh, the news that came in, Vishnu, was also that there was no damage to any civil life or property has been reported. Where did it actually crash and at what time did it happen? It took place this morning. The aircraft had taken off, as I mentioned, from Dundigul to the Air Force Academy in the Greater Hyderabad region. Do not know the exact location where the aircraft crashed, but the fact that they mentioned uh, that there is no damage to life or to property 
This is a standard statement which accompanies all Indian Air Force press releases in the event that there is no damage on the ground. It's the same this time around. So quite clearly, a crash has taken place. Again, the circumstances of this, we don't know. In terms of the families being told, they would have been told before there's a press release which is announced. Very often, the names of the pilots emerge. And then <clears throat> the media, upon inquiry, are told not to report the names of the pilots uh, until such time as their, uh, their near and dear ones, their families, etc., are informed. Uh, in this case, I don't have the names of the pilots. So far, that will emerge at some stage. Uh, but these, at least one of them would have been a very young pilot. It's a twin-seater aircraft. It's the PC-7. There's a pilot in front. There's a pilot behind. The pilot behind is usually uh, the officer training the pilot in front. Could be vice versa. We don't necessarily know. Um, and there was an accident which took place. The PC-7 has an excellent uh, safety record in the Indian Air Force. I don't, off the top of my head, remember when the last serious incident with the PC-7 took place. But it has happened now. And obviously, a court of inquiry looks into all aspects, whether it was mechanical fault, whether there was a human error, whether there was a, a mistake in communication or anything else that comes up.